Hey guys, Sarah here from The Glitter Guy, and today we are going to make our own custom post-it note holder. I got this off Amazon, um, and we are just going to glitter the top and make it our own little cute desktop, you know, pull out our own post-its. So, I already took this part once because I'm a fidgety girl and I was just playing with it, but they're really easy. You just press on the little, the little knobs and it comes right off. I already took the clip out. So the top is pretty smooth. So I'm just going to take my sanding block and rough it up a little bit to give all of my, okay, we're going to paint it first. So I guess the paint something to adhere to. Rough it up a whole lot. Like any craft room, I can't find any of my alcohol pump jars, but I have an alcohol spray bottle. Get it all nice and clean. I have been slowly glittering all of the office supplies on my desk to pink, so let's not rock the boat, shall we? I have cotton candy pop of color. I'm just gonna do a nice little coat on this. Give our glitter that extra pop that I love to have. Typically, I always do two coats of paint. First one's always kind of streaky, and then the second one smooths it out. Not too thick, or it'll literally never dry. Because for some reason, crafting is for the impatient, we have our heat gun to make this dry a little faster. You don't want to use too much heat on your pop of color or really on any kind of paint. It's going to start cracking, but you can always see where it's kind of still a little wet. Give it one good look. Heat, because I can't help myself. And we'll do another coat. It's dripping a little paint inside where the post-its would come out. And I'm going to just clean that up later with some alcohol and a Q-tip. I'll just go in from the back side and just clean it after everything's all sealed and good. Heat on, heat off, heat on, heat off. Just don't crack your paint. I'm cracking my paint. We are going to apply UV resin to the whole top and then glitter it. So we're going to use UV resin as our adhesive. This is TGG resin. It's just not in the TGG resin bottle anymore because I poured it out of the gallon jug. Here we go. So we're just gonna cover the hole. It actually is probably a perfect amount. Being cautious not to go over a little opening so that this all goes back together the way it's supposed to. These are perfect one for you and your office if post-its are at something you use or even if a desk is something you have and you just want something cute on your desk. I won't tell anyone that you don't actually use post-its but also for a teacher gift for someone in an office gift birthdays christmas boss appreciation day which i do not have a date on that for you so i just have to look it up but plenty of opportunities i'm using bomb diggity today hope it doesn't let me down because bubble gum was what i really wanted but clearly wasn't in the mood to look but this is working out great so i'm just going to sprinkle some Make sure I got all of my spots. I don't know why I did that. All right, so now we're going to not look at our UV light and I'm just gonna cure this for a few seconds. It shouldn't take too long. This is a pretty high powered light. I got this on Amazon. One, my link tree will be underneath this video. So you guys will see this. This is, this light is on there and I will make sure that the post-it holder is also on there for you guys so you guys can all find that very easy although you you know have to cure it with a light i still do believe this is faster than mod podge now i'm going to coat the whole top in uv resin and uh seal it all in there basically the same thing we just did just obviously over top of water. and i'm just i really am just gently touching it i'm not really applying a lot of pressure because I don't want to disturb the glitter underneath, although you shouldn't disturb it too much since it is sealed pretty well with the resin and give you a more even coat. You don't want to let the coat be too heavy, of course, on here, but you don't want it too, too thin either. Although if it's too thin, you can always go back and do another coat. If it's too thick, 
you could run into possibilities of it one not curing at all uh, you'll have the middle kind of be like a little jelly because the top will cure faster you'd have to do a pretty thick coat though for that same thing put your light on it seal it up don't look at the light put your tana goggles on or something all right so it's cured it's like i wouldn't say sticky maybe it's a little tacky so i'm just going to do a few seconds on each end just to be super certain that the hardness of it moment of truth you guys is it going to go back together It went back together. All right, but I'm gonna take it off because you can see right there, I pushed a little bit on my paint and my resin. Yeah, and that's it. Before, boring, plain, stupid. No one knows this is yours. Everyone can take it off your desk. Pink, glittery, fun, brings you joy and makes your day a little bit better. This is a lot of fun to make. I've got plenty of room here for some kind of decal or something. I'm thinking like my name or a little cute, maybe a glitter guy duck on there or something, a big D. And I now have something to, some more stuff to occupy my desk. Like I don't have enough stuff to occupy my desk with. This happened to be a craft that I saw in the glitter guy group and in Tumblr Axe. I wanna say her name was Sierra Larson that put, uh, did this. And I thought it was really cool. So I really wanted to get one. I really wanted to recreate it for you guys. I'm gonna find something super awesome to do with this one. And we're gonna hit you with another video later on. I will link all of the items that I know of that you will need to do this. All I used was the post-it holder that I got from Amazon, light from Amazon, UV resin, and the glitter from the Glitter Guy. Like and subscribe to our channel. And I hope that you guys really enjoyed this.